Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Arcade Game for the GameCube. I recently picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus for the GameCube, and when I found out you can unlock the 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle the Arcade Game, I was stoked. I spent about five to six hours playing Battle Nexus until I finally unlocked the arcade game. I was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan growing up in the late 80s, early 90s. I still have all my toys from back in the day. And I don't just mean a few toys. I have a shitload of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Maybe someday I'll get my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys out of the attic and make a video of them and show you. So with that said, let's get started. Cowabunga! Fire! Oh, hang on, April. Look how tall that building is. They had to at least leap from 50 stories. Fire! We gotta get April out! Attack! So here we start the game in a burning building fighting some foot soldiers. And we must save April. What I'm gonna do in this Let's Play since I'm playing by myself, I'm gonna play with a few lives with each turtle. And then I'll switch on to the next turtle. I see you peeking around the stairways. That dynamite's not going to work on me. Watch out for this part. For some reason, there's big bouncy balls coming down the stairway. Come out from behind that door, foot soldier, and get your ass whooped. Are you guys going up or down? Oh yeah, you're going down. Do not resist us! Alright, you bastard, I won't resist you. I'll just kick your ass. And there's April. Let's save that bitch. Oh, I hate these orange bastards. They got guns and they got a long range. And here we face the first boss, Rocksteady. Say your prayers, turtles. Oh yeah, I'll take a seat, Rocksteady. The strategy I use against Rocksteady is hit him a few times and then move. Hit him a few times more, then move. And continue this process until he's defeated. Once Rocksteady starts blinking red, all you have to do is knock him down a few more times and he's defeated. Oh, you asshole, you kicked me across the room. And just like that, Rocksteady's defeated. And once you think you saved April, Shredder comes and takes her away. Come on, after that shredder creep! On this stage, I like to use the different items on the screen, like the parking meter to defeat foot soldiers. And you can also hit the sewer covers back at the enemies to defeat them too. That dynamite's not gonna work on me, foot soldier. You better bring something better than that, son. Watch this, I just move out of the way and he hits his buddy with the sewer cover. Help me! Tonight, I died on turtle soup. Holy shit, there's a lot of foot soldiers. Time to whoop some major ass. Oh yeah, that's how it's done. How you like that sewer cover back in your face?
Oh, how'd that miss? Another sewer cover right to the face. Ah, there's a pizza up there. If you get the pizza, it'll put you back to full health. I love how these foot soldiers get slammed up against the wall and then they slide down. When you hear the cowabunga, that means I was adding some lives. Watch out for this billboard here. It can fall on you and smash you. Well, that was a piss poor attempt at throwing dynamite at me. You must like sewer cover to the face. Now we face the second boss, Bebop. You're dead, Shabrang. They ain't getting any prettier. Shut your mouth, slime ball. The strategy I use against Bebop is just hit him once, then move up, hit him once, move down, and repeat this process until he is defeated. And make sure you watch out for his charge and his ray gun. When he starts blinking red, all you gotta do is knock him down a couple more times and he's defeated. Ouch, that hurt. And just like that, Bebop is defeated. Now it's time to head to the sewers. Oh shit, look how many foot soldiers there are. Time to whoop some major ass. Or end up getting my ass kicked. When you're facing this many foot soldiers, make sure you keep them in front of you. Don't let them gang up on you on from both sides. If you guys want some more of this, come and get it. When fighting different types of foot soldiers, I always like to take out the ones that have longer range. Uh-oh, we got some Mausers coming through. Let's kick their ass. Now we got some more Mausers breaking through. I always like to take care of them first. They're little mean bastards. Ooh, there's a pizza on the other side of that gate. That was just in time. I was really low on health. the hell is that? Missiles coming out of sewer waters. Okay then. More Mausers. Piece of cake. Here's one last batch of Mausers. Go ahead and take care of them.
Now we will face the third boss, Baxter Stockman, before he got turned into a fly. Yippee! Baxter Stockman is really easy. The strategy I use is stand at the bottom of the screen and just wait for him to swoop down and hit him a couple times with your sword. And just like that, Baxter Stockman is defeated. Cool me get a shield brain. Alright, so now we continue our adventure above ground. Still whooping foot soldiers' asses. Holy shit, did that cone just take out three foot soldiers? That was amazing. Watch out for these foot soldiers with the spears. They're major assholes. Check this out. Oh, I thought it was going to take out more foot soldiers than just one. Oh yeah, that was nice. Kong took out two foot soldiers. Watch out for this car here, it will run you over. Oh no, not the orange assholes with guns. Ah, oh, they always whoop my ass. Chael shock. Now let's go ahead and switch characters. Let's play with Michelangelo for a little bit. Cowabunga! Alright, Michelangelo, show him what you got. Go kick some ass. Sure thing, dude. This is totally gnarly. After we face these last two foot soldiers, we'll face our fourth bosses, Bebop and Rocksteady together. Whoa, dude, pizza time. This is probably the hardest boss fight in this entire game. You can try to use the same tactics as you did before, but it's just so hard. They just gang up on you. Once you start beating one up just a little bit, here comes the other one to beat your ass. Ah, <laughs> there's just so much going on, it's hard to dodge it all. Whoa, dude, chill shock. Now that we got Bebop blinking red, let's go ahead and try to concentrate killing him first. There we go, we took care of Bebop. Now we can take care of Rocksteady. When you're attacking Rocksteady, don't get too greedy. Just hit him a couple times or else he's gonna kick your ass. Oh, what the hell? Why aren't those hitting? And just like that, we defeat Rocksteady and save April. Let's get to that secret factory. Uh-oh, it's a couple of them assholes who've got spears. Ah, I hate that. Come here, you flippin' asshole. 
What the hell is this shit? Who just carries a bomb over your head and just throws it as a weapon? Do not resist us! Ah oh, shit, I didn't mean to add a couple lives. I was gonna use Donatello next. Get over here, flippin' asshole. Oh shit, bomb to the face. That hurt. How in the hell do you get ran over by a dude riding a willy? Pizza time. Not yet, Michelangelo. Let's wait until you need it. Okay, you can get it now. Assholes. Yeah, throw your spear. Now you're gonna get your ass whooped. Haha, -ha, you missed trying to jump kick me in the head. Watch out for these guys who throw giant tires at you. But just like the sewer covers, you can hit them right back in their face. After you defeat these foot soldiers, we will go to one of the coolest stages. It's the skateboard stage. Watch out for the foot soldiers in these helicopters firing upon you. The only way to defeat them is to jump kick them. There we go, take that. Y'all want some more? Now we get to whoop some more foot soldier ass. And of course some more jump kicking helicopters. Oh, I also hate these foot soldiers who have these little fans that shoot ray beams out of them. How does that work? I don't know. Now we gotta fight some foot soldiers and helicopters who drop bombs on you. They're a lot harder than the other guys. There we go, now we can take on the foot soldiers one at a time. Uh oh, here's these foot soldiers with these fans that shoot ray beams out of them. Chill shock. All right, I think it's time to give Donatello a chance this time. Cowabunga! Go whoop some ass, Donatello. Show him what you're made of. Hang on, guys. Ah! Come on, let's bust this joint. We gotta save Splinter! How many times are you gonna use that trick, Foot Soldier? Dynamite doesn't work on me. Oh shit, we got a mixture of Mausers and Foot Soldiers. Let's kick their ass. Come over here to my little trap, Foot Soldier. Haha, -ha, you're dead. Uh-oh, assholes with spears. Haha, <laughs> they threw their spears, now they're worthless. Ah, 
Ah, oh, I hate these bastards. Come get you some, orange bastard. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. You want some too? Boom. Come up here, foot soldier. I got something for you. Boom! Take that! Ah, oh, watch out for the stupid dynamite. Oh no, it's that overgrown corkscrew again. And out of the overgrown corkscrew comes some bug looking machines that fire lasers at you. Just jump kick them until you destroy them. But they are a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I am getting my ass whooped. Chill shock. Alright, let's continue using Donatello. But I didn't mean to get that many lives with him. I wanted to use Raphael after two more lives. But oh well. Good, that last bug just flew off the screen. Do not resist us! This is what you get, Foot Soldier, for firing those lasers at me. Pizza time! Uh oh, Splinter's held captive. Now we will face the boss, Granitor. Crush the turtles! You basically use the same strategy that you used against Bebop against Granitor. Just hit him once, move up or down, then hit him again and move the opposite direction. Keep doing this until he's defeated. You do have to watch your timing. If you're not fast enough, he will hit you. Now when he starts blinking really fast, it only takes a few more hits and he will be destroyed. And just like that, Granitor is defeated. Oh, thank you, my turtles. There it is. We gotta find the Technodrome. Alright, so now we're in the Technodrome, and we're gonna have to battle a shitload of foot soldiers. Oh, you asshole. Do not resist us. I won't resist you. I'll just kick your ass. Just like that. 
Oh no, more assholes with spears. I hate these guys. Oh shit, that caught me off guard. Channel shock. Alright, let's go ahead and play with the last turtle, Raphael. Cowabunga! Go kick some ass, Raphael. Show him what you got. What kind of elevator is this? You have bouncing balls coming and rolling on people that are on an elevator. Really? Oh no, a couple orange bastards. I hate these guys. Pizza time! Not yet, Raphael. Make sure you use it when you need it. I don't know who I hate more, the orange bastards with guns or these purple bastards with spears. After we defeat this last foot soldier, we will face our next boss, General Trag. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. To defeat General Trag, we're going to use the same strategy we used against Granitor. Just hit him once, move down, hit him again, move up. Repeat this until you defeat him. I know this is kind of a cheap move, but it was the best strategy I could come up with. It does take a long time to take General Trag down this way, only because you're hitting him once per turn. And just like that, you defeat General Trag. Now we enter the last room, where we will fight our second to last boss, Krang. And guess what strategy I use against him? The same one I used on the last two bosses. He's a piece of cake. I could do this all day and all night. Oh, you asshole, you hit me, you lucky bastard. Just a few more hits and he should be defeated. And just like that, Krang is defeated. I am invincible! Now comes the real test, Shredder. He will split up into two different guys. One's the real Shredder and one's an illusion. It's pretty easy to tell who the fake Shredder is. His helmet will come off really quick after just a few hits. Watch out for Shredder's death ray. It will kill you instantly. Cowabunga! Since this Shredder's helmet's not coming off, I think this is the real one. I'm just going to keep on attacking him. Ah, oh, shit, the death ray. Get over here, real Shredder. I'm gonna whoop your ass. See how easy the fake Shredder's helmet came off? Cowabunga! Wow. 
There's the fake shredder. Now let's go attack the other guy. No, no death right for me, shredder. Both shredders lost their helmet. And that's how you beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game for the GameCube. Freak the Foots, Mangle the Mausers, and Total the Technodrome. That's Turtle Power. But what about the Shredder and Krang? Burn to toast, vaporize to milkshake, or escape to Dimension X. Until we know, none of us can sleep safely in our beds or er, shells. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Arcade Game for the GameCube. I hope you have enjoyed it. I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for the support.